Hey everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. I'm Sam, joined by my colleagues Nate, Chico, and Teresa. Uh, so just a few minutes ago, uh, Anuma-san gave us an introduction to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and the Plateau. And now we're going to do some exploring and just check out a little bit more of what the Plateau has to offer. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's, let's do some climbing, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mr. Anuma and Bill kind of looked around the uh, bottom of the temple. So now I'm going to go up and see how the world will look like. Yeah. It should be noted that the first time I found this temple, I tried to climb up the other side where there's no ladder, and oh, I yeah. fell and I died. Yeah, so I like didn't know there's another needed. <laughs> you did that and you felt so proud of yourself. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and it was only later you walked around and was like, oh, ladder. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, the game is encouraging you to climb. What can I say? I figured I was doing the right thing. <laughs> Have to be careful. Steady. Ah! <laughs> no! We already had Bill set himself on fire. That it's is all right. true. Even yeah, if you yeah, yeah, your yeah, death, yeah. I don't think it's. <laughs> that means we have to ramp thing. it up now. We're just gonna. We have to beat him. I think on, on the glorious death front. <laughs> <All right. laughs> then I'm just gonna go up. Challenge accepted. I think I, ooh, ooh, this is my favorite moment. When I go up to the peak, I can actually see the sun coming up. Yeah, oh, it's it's really kind of scary amazing. actually how many times I've done that playing early builds of this game where you just sort of. We want to get to high spaces so you can just look around um, different times of day, different weather, you know, just oh, yeah. the, the scenery is so fantastic. That's it's interesting how much it changes, and especially here since we don't have any control as we're showing this game off to what the weather's going to do, so it's it's nice right now that we've got a good scene to show people, <laughs> but it could foggy. just easily be raining. Yeah. And so since this is an exploration <laughs> uh, segment, I kind of want to, uh, you know, try to explore a lot, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to try to head toward the highest peak in this plateau, which I think is that thing. Yes. So I'm going to use the scope. You see, so using the scope, you can actually pin things so you can see where you're heading toward. So right now, I'm on right here. And I can, I'm trying to go to the Mount Hylia, the highest peak on this plateau we're on. And it's crazy thinking this is just the plateau that we have visible here, but there, this is a tiny portion mm -hmm. of the world. Yeah, yep. this is how this big the world is. Having uh, having that the topographical details on the map too are hugely important. It's like when you when you look at it when you're sitting there staring at your map and trying to figure out how to get somewhere, you can see obviously if you have huge elevation gains that you have to get over, planning your route becomes really important. Yep. And just for the Treehouse Live, um, Mr. Anuma gave us a very oh, special yeah, right. board. <laughs> this is so so cool. we can actually use the paraglider in this one. So I'm going to try to take the scenic route. You're going in the drink. Oh. You're going in the water. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you going to make it? Maybe. I will make it. I will make it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, wait. There's something here. Is Resources. That shiny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually one thing I found really useful about being able to plan your location before you actually get going because the number of times I've gotten waylaid by collecting stuff or hunting or I'm just yeah. totally off of where I intended to go and then I can check and be like, oh yeah, I, I was supposed to go over there. I should, yeah. I should get back to that when I'm done collecting stuff. No, that happens all the time. Like every nook and cranny. I mean, it's not, it's not like you're going to find, you know, this incredible sword around every nook and cranny, but there's always <laughs> something. It's like whether it's an apple or it's something that you're going to use later on. There's just there's stuff, there's secrets everywhere, so yep. you get really distracted. <laughs> and I collect everything I see. I feel like I just saw Bill doing a naked speed run down this <laughs> path. Like, luckily we're going a different route. He went down the path, we're going up. Yep, we're going to the different direction. Oops. So this is actually the um, peak or the cliff. Link first come out from the Resurrection Cave, I think. That's where it was, I think. Yeah. And he came up right here. Hey, in case anybody's wondering too, because we obviously just went through Mr. Anuma's section, the, the first time you pick something up, it, it stops in 10 and tells you what it is, but mm -hmm. thereafter, if you pick up the same item, you're not going to get interrupted with sort of that little text bubble telling you what it is. You yeah, just pick yeah. it up and just keep rolling. Okay. So my uh, destination is actually, actually behind me, uh, but I'm going to try to go around this cave and do some climbing and jumping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love so to do that. It's so interesting how with this game, so much of it is being able to take your adventure into your own hands, yep. do whatever you want to do, go where you want to go. Yep. And starting the game, one of the first things you can do you just run yourself Don't off, dive off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I totally did that. Yeah, yeah I found I've made a, 
I've made many entertaining mistakes as I've been exploring and I've gotten a little maybe over enthusiastic. <laughs> but I mean, somebody could have, instead of going down that path as the game sort of gently guides you to do, somebody could have just taken a left out of that cave and come right up here if they wanted to. Yep. And then they'd get in you trouble. You decided probably. what to do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh Chico, come on. Oh, really? I missed him. Uh, Chico, it should be gone. noted for those of you guys who are watching. <laughs> Chico likes to shoot everything that moves, <laughs> but you don't have to do that. Of course, obviously, if you there are um, you can survive and, and play this entire game without hunting and innocent animals like Chico. Oh. Well, no, and, and bad animals. Bad animals. I'm an animal lover, so you know. <laughs> girls got to eat. And actually, this is something that folks probably noticed uh, during the Anuma sa um, segment that um, uh, this area is really taken over by Bokoblin, So you have to be really careful as you're running around these hills. Like that there are all these little encampments that you can run across. And yep. depending on which direction you come at them from, you could be climbing from the other way, crest that hill, and suddenly you're smack in the middle of this camp. Yeah. They these guys have a really sweet camp. Yeah. Look at the view from that camp. That is where I would camp. And they have meat. I want meat. Nice roll. <laughs> so much for their peaceful oh. camping. Ah! Oh, you missed it. Oh. You got their attention, though. Wait, 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 wait. That's all right. They're stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're not. They might just They're like, that was just an exploding grasshopper. <laughs> yeah, it just went over there and blew up. Oh. Yeah. Nice roll. Oh, it's Maybe oh, not. It's oh. I think there's a really I think you got, yeah, you got a good. taking it. Oh, man. Chico's just taking it in her own. Ah, I wanted to get them before they get the weapon. But. Oh, uh -huh. oh he went over the side. Chico, come on. <laughs> what? I'm just trying to These get dudes are chilling. Meat. They're like, we got our permit. We got our giant hunk of meat. We're going to have yeah. a little camp. Yeah. Oh. They were looking look forward to such a good time. No, they're, they're bad. They're bad look, creatures. Look, 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 look at this giant meat. Yeah, it's you gotta, glistening. You got to grab that. Yes, I have. It looks so delicious. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> oh, seared. Yeah, Would have been a good meal for him. Yeah. <laughs> well, I will enjoy it for them. <laughs> <laughs> Finders keepers. It's, they're no longer here, so Dude, it's all Chico's. Bill and now you're going to burn their their stuff. That's yep. good. <laughs> sort of a to make sure. Ha ha. You oh, can yeah, set fire on that. Thing. Oh, there might be something in there. Maybe. I should wait. It's <laughs> yeah, so interesting when we saw the um, uh, that rolling issue we were having over that crest ah. there, but uh, you really all. have to take physics in, into account oh, yeah. whenever you're doing oh, anything in this look, game. Look at that. There's something more. Oh yeah, go down there. It's gonna have a really real effect on what's going on. Stuff everywhere. Yeah. So these are, this is ore. Um, you can, uh, of course, whale on this. You could also blow it up. Um, various oh, minerals right. and yeah, other yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should do that. You gotta that's save easier. that axe. It's like, you might need that. <laughs> Maybe a square bomb. Wait, uh, wait, I have to change it. Okay. So there are two different types of uh, remote bomb in this one. And the square one is much easier to just keep it in place. Oops, why am I doing it? The spheres are virtually all the shadows. Oh, oh, oh. A big old cloud just went overhead. Actually, can we look up for a second? I just want to see if that cloud's. Yeah, hold on. It might have been a zeppelin. <laughs> I'm just kidding. There's no zeppelins in this game. No. Just weather, I think. Oh, uh, fast. It's good. I was a little worried a storm was rolling in and everything was going to start getting all slippery. Uh -huh. and There's another camp navigate. over there. So one of the different things about this game is that uh, many of the Bokoblins actually live in the camp instead of just scattering yeah. around. Yeah, that's that's true. You you kind of you'll run into obviously you run into some an monsters that are just sort of wandering the oh, environment, yeah. but they actually have their own little communities. Mm -hmm. They'll gather in camps and. Yep. Just having fun just until chilling. thing comes over. <laughs> making their, their evil plots. I like Chico's showing right here right now. It's that you have all this environment to explore and at your own pace, and you can just climb everything and just try to investigate in different ways and take different paths. You, it's not linear or anything. You yep. just mm -hmm. choose your own adventure. And there's and so much hi hidden goodness to find. Right. So if that cliff had been higher, like her stamina wheel, basically, it allowed her to get a, that high. But like, mm -hmm. if that had been a higher cliff, you probably would have had to find another yeah, way around. Yeah. Exactly. So I kind of have to know like what's my limit before I start climbing up. Mm -hmm getting into some serious elevation here. Okay. I love yeah. this about the game. It, it feels like, like, look around for just one second, Chico. I love how the, the natural progression of the environment sort of looks like you would expect sort of as you go up in, into like sort of mountain meadows and stuff like mm -hmm. that. You'd expect the, the, the trees just to change. You know, you'd expect some, some, more, some more like sort of wild meadows. And then as you get into an area with snow, it's like the transitions feel really like oh, a yeah. natural world to me. Looking in that other direction, there's a very ominous direction on the yeah, horizon. Let's not go there today. Yeah. Let's, stay Let's try here. to stay Let's on the plateau. There's not the goblins. Oh, wait, I couldn't take that. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to be able to stop Chico from just <laughs> sort of going and attacking I everything like she sees. That's all right. No, it's good. 
Especially because it, it illustrates that you, you really can approach this a thousand different ways. I mean, the last one you sort of sent in some, some bombs to, mm -hmm. uh, to introduce yourself to him, but <laughs> didn't have to. Oh, 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 oh. he sees you. Sentry. He doesn't see you. And actually, oh, he definitely doesn't see you now. <laughs> the He's enemy gone. AI is really interesting because depending hmm. on what you're fighting, um, um, <gasps> did they notice me? These yeah. guys behave a certain way. Different enemies will behave uh, more aggressively or more cautiously. Ah! But I, I think we noticed and in an earlier the section fire. there with that first ah! camp where they actually hadn't picked he up their weapons yet. So yep. able to get involved really? before they grab their weapons, it might have been easier. But then they have a chance to grab their gear, yeah, totally. so like, grab uh, each other's gear. Come yeah, if you sneak in and grab their weapons, they basically sit there and try to pick up dirt. <laughs> I have a that you want. They're just like, come on. Yeah, the same thing. Get out of my <laughs> Or you can, so uh, Chico just used an axe there, which you can actually use to knock shields out of enemy hands. The heavier weapons can mm -hmm. knock out shields. Then picked up his weapons, and now it's like, what is this dude going to do? It's not going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's one. Yeah, check him out. <laughs> uh, <dude>, like, <laughs> <laughs> I think that was, I think that was dirt. That might have been, that might have been some dirt. Let's call it dirt. Yeah, I think it was dirt. It seems safe. <laughs> Oh, there's a straggler there. There's something more unpleasant. <laughs> and it's actually interesting, too, that um, right now we're fighting during a fairly nice, sunny, clear day. But um, how this would go and also how the Bokoblins would behave might be very different if we came back here at night or if we came here during different weather. That's yeah. right. A lot of enemies sleep at night. Um, you can sneak in, steal all their stuff. You could s sneak out afterwards, too, if you want. But in general, I'm sure Chica wouldn't do that. She, wouldn't, she would leave no sleeping enemies alive. <laughs> yeah. And so what happened right there, obviously, is Chico cleared the entire area out. And this particular camp had a chest that was locked um, and was tied to the enemies around yeah. it. So that when you defeat sword. them, that's nice. That's an upgrade. But essentially, you can interact with everything in this environment. Like, there's steel boxes on the screen oh, right yeah. now. Just Chico oh, can't wait, wait, really wait. interact with them. But later on in the, oh, the later see. segments, we'll talk about like how you can mm -hmm. open it. Oh, that terrain over there is oh, so yeah, cool. I I that yeah, it looks sort of like yeah. desert buttes. Yeah. Not going there today. We are no. staying on the plateau. Yeah. But there's this suspicious rock or stone. Pillar, so of course I'm gonna try to climb up on that thing. Oh, and there's another tree house. Oh wow! These guys but are really built it up. They oh, got a yeah. nice place. Wow. Yeah, no, that actually is really nice. They got the deluxe camp. Yeah, it's a better one. Yeah, yeah look at I'm that. Not they sure got like they got. Let that one stand or not? <laughs> <laughs> you can burn that entire camp down. She goes. I don't know. Maybe. Come in like an avenging Maybe. fury. Oh. <laughs> I need to take, you know, take them out first. Are make you gonna sure make it? Oh, I will. Maybe. It's close. Right. Nate, help some You got enough stamina? She's gonna get it. Yeah, yeah she's right. got it. I've actually found that's one of the things that's been really fun about all of us being able to play at work and, and the different experiences that we've had in the game. Uh -huh. and, and really just comparing notes about how different the experience can be where certain people are really focused on just rampant destruction mm -hmm. and waging a, a one-man war against the goblins. Other folks are, are focusing more on hunting or exploring. And uh, depending on how you choose to, to focus your adventure, uh, it's so different. Yep. And just talking to people like, uh, I can talk to any other person in the office and we've had a, a completely different experience with the game. Yeah, totally. So Chico was at just what we were talking about that Chico basically scouted this camp mm -hmm. with her, her Chica slate. And you can see that actually by identifying the individual oh. enemies, you can see how strong they are. And yeah, it looks like it's there's a there's a serious one back there. Yeah. yeah. I don't think you may not be geared up uh, to yeah. do that. Not right now. Give it a pass. So, yeah, I should should Let's go. Yeah, Let's go to the peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can also see that she's got, once she marked that um, spot on her map, you can see it down on the mini-map. So even if it's not specifically in the little radius of your immediate map, you'll at least have a beacon to, uh, to go. Oh, okay. actually, since those guys will probably be fun to fight maybe later if we have time, would it be worth um, marking them on the map so we can keep track of where they are? First, she's got to get geared up. Oh, Chico oh, is very cold, cold right now. It's always so sad to see Link, like, yeah, animation thing freezing. freezing. <laughs> Yeah, but before I go, I definitely want to map that thing. I think it was on this side. Yeah, that's right? it right there. And so I'm going to use the. Let's skull. Do skull. Go skull. Okay. There you go. Okay. So to now be I killed later. That's yes. death. <laughs> you don't want to go there. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Do I have it better? Yep. Uh, so, uh, so what Chico just did, obviously, was um, the, she went into a colder zone. You can see from the, the uh, temperature gauge there that she went somewhere that was beyond sort of her current clothing. Mm -hmm. um, and you're going to lose health if you if you don't gear up or s otherwise warm yourself. Uh, clothing is only one way that you can do it. But for the purpose of this demo, you should put on a nice little tunic. Yep. Well, see, sir, want me to focus on uh, traveling? Why don't you take a dip in that lake? Mm -hmm. You ever do that? Huh? P polar no. bear? Polar uh, bear club. No. Come on. No, 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 no. I guess. No polar bear club. No. <laughs> when you play, you can do it. 
Those look like shoes. <laughs> what is that stuff? Oh, oh you're right. Choo yeah. choo jelly. Sweet. A lot of stuff in this game. I don't even know what that stuff does. I've been playing this game forever. <laughs> have, you, have you ever made anything out of jelly? It's gotta, you gotta be able to make something out of it. I don't know, cookie? Maybe? <laughs> so we kind of touched on it, but um, maybe we could talk about how with this game, like the weather changes and it actually affects like the gameplay itself. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, totally. Well, it, I mean, among other things, it, it makes it so that nobody's going to have the same experience in this particular area. I mean, if you come into an area when it's at night and raining, it may be a totally different experience mm -hmm. than when you come in there broad daylight. The enemies will be behaving differently. The terrain behaves differently. I mean, sudden downpours can put out campfires and stuff mm -hmm. like that. So it really is dynamic, um, and that's in the truest sense of the word. It's dynamic in the sense that you just nope. the time of day could, could affect how you approach a particular mountain. It gets colder at higher elevations at night than it does during the day, so Great. even that will affect how you explore. It's ah. interesting how rain affects climbing because if it's so slippery, it's just a lot right. harder to climb, so you're not going to be able to hit things. And uh, every once in a while, you're going to hit a point where maybe you just have to wait for the weather to pass. Yep, yeah. totally. Or Which I never do. I'm like, I'm going somewhere else. There's always something else to do around the corner. <laughs> I'm not going to wait. I'm not going to wait for this weather to pass. It just adds to the puzzle and the strategy of mm -hmm. like, where where should I go next? So maybe I should come here later and just mark it and just go explore <laughs> yep. elsewhere. I'm impressed that you're going around paths. See me, I'm like straight line i climb over absolutely everything in my path <laughs> unless i don't have the stamina to do it i don't think chico's was following a straight path though <laughs> she kind of was she was sticking a little bit to it just we'll get to it you know i find these moments when you're cresting Ooh, sunset. Uh, a climb uh oh i have to get really kind of yeah. there. Okay, gotta, okay, gotta okay. pause pause and appreciate the the sunset you're going all the way to the peak for the sunset <laughs> you're such a romantic chico <laughs> but it's so pretty yeah. you see oh, every stop, 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 stop. can i make it can i make it yeah, you'll make it. Sunset's nice. Oh, yeah. Ah, nice. let's do that little bit too much. Oh, that's all right. Oh. It's still nice. That's cool. It's some really interesting nice. cloud cover moving over there. Sit back, crack an elixir, you know. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, sunset. That's nice. Oh. Right, so are we at the peak? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, nice little dark. men here there. To, Wait, no, it says pipe. search. You gotta grab some. There's something there. I would do it later. All right. <laughs> okay. God, you need resources. I just want to see what's around. Oh man. Yeah. This is the highest peak on the plateau, but of course there's a more higher stuff outside the plateau. Yeah, so you guys have to explore it later. Mm -hmm. That's crazy to think about. Actually, yeah. this seems like it should be the highest point in the entire land. It's definitely not. Yeah, it's just everything's so vast, but yeah. the t the higher you get, the farther you can mm -hmm. see, and it just makes planning so much easier. Mm -hmm. It's nice seeing in the distance how you, we've got some illumination marking locations. So there's some certain sites that are really going to catch your eye as you look over the horizon. I know. It's, I'm so distracted by all this stuff now. I want to mark mm -hmm. all those all those shrines. Go to those. To do list. <laughs> so I just saw a waterfall over there, so I'm going to try to go. The first. You're giving me vertigo. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, this is something that I don't think we even have on the demo on the floor. So folks yep. who are here aren't going to get to play with this. It's only folks who are watching the stream mm -hmm. that get to. Yep. Oh, it becomes hopefully watch us not fly into the water. Stafos. Is hid. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, got his weapon too. Haha. Oh, grab it. Oh. Oh, that's all right. You can use that for something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Make a necklace. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we could do that. Can we do that? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> necklace of Wait, teeth. Is it high enough? Am I high enough? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm going to do snowboarding. <laughs> that's I right. Snowboarding. Oh, I know. That's right. That's oh, right. Oh, wow. Actually, take a look at the moon over there. It's come out. Oh, that's yeah. Oh. oh, it's some keys over there. Yeah, I have to go up wow, yeah, to you're my right. bunny hill first. Ah, uh, or not. I came with the buddy. Oh, you are a dead shot, Chico. <laughs> Seriously, See, you're I just, really I good. See, I normally just wait in there with a sword, but you're actually smart to do that because if you fight Stalfos at night with a sword, you generally knock their heads off, but then the head survives and goes and tries to find yeah. its body and, and put they, it back together. They just really swap creepy. their heads, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Okay. And so, actually, if you take a look at them oh. afterwards, sometimes their limbs will still be moving after you defeat them. Mm -hmm. it's like, oh. oh, that's right. So oh. That is so cool. It's my favorite feature of them all. Yeah, I can actually do snowboarding here. Climb, ah! climb a high hill. Oh, oh nice. No. Oh, ice keys. Ice keys. I was wondering if you could take that jump, actually. If we start high enough, we just... <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I was probably I'm sorry, I was murdering this bat. Probably it's don't. keys. No, it's, no keys. <laughs> it's not bad. I know, I know. It's, it's a, a monster. <laughs> oh, I should call out my cred. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
so there's this. Um, so it, the, that little move that Chico just did, riding on her shield, shield surfing, I think we're calling it, yep. um, that, uh, that does degrade your shield, so it's not like you could do that mm -hmm. forever. Well, I mean, you can, you just have to go get more shields, but you can't ride on that thing forever and expect yeah. it not to take damage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You just might like need it, you know. Yeah, they do like <laughs> yeah, exactly. With all your weapons and your just. gear, they, are, they have also mm -hmm. their own stats, so the more you use them, the but more you wear them. Uh, you want to save your favorites for special get occasions. That. Yeah. <laughs> The cool thing that I actually uh, found out is that if you're shield surfing, you can do other things at the same time, like shoot an arrow. So oh, really? that just ex that just invites more exploration and people to just keep trying stuff. So it's super cool. Yeah, I got my arrow now. That's a cool stuff. So I know during the, the video we showed right at the beginning of the day, um, we showed like swimming, but I can't remember here. So what is look at this? Hang right, on a second. Chico wants enough? to blow a tree up. Set more things oh. on fire. Oops, I was too hard. Yeah, I think you can leave the tree be. Come on. <laughs> you are such a force of destruction. Aww. I think we just found out that. I'm just that trying it out might my be evil tree. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> might be okay. evil tree. So. I think Chico's a pyro. <laughs> yeah, Chico likes pyro. <laughs> she likes it in the office, too. And I just wanted to try it out. Beat me along. <laughs> okay, so there's a waterfall. So you sure you went there the waterfall. You Zelda know something one. is going to be there. The first Zelda has taught us this. Oh, Check yeah, that waterfalls. Water super cold. Yep. I'm just going to try not to go too far. Ooh. Oh, nice save. save. Okay, yeah, so hopefully people, yeah. people when they're playing the demo here, hopefully don't go jumping off cliffs thinking they can activate <laughs> the, uh, the paraglider. This is just for the treehouse life. Yeah. Look at this. There we go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Nice. Three nice detour. Chest. Haha, and then it's 14. So this is actually a really good trove. So, I mean, we ah. were talking about that earlier. The, there's little stuff everywhere. So, I mean, you might look behind it in a little nook and cranny that looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you might find an awesome trove like this that has tons of treasure chests. But yep. the, sometimes you might find a, some apples or some acorns or something like that. But all of those things have value. Like, you never, there's never a time when you're sort of looking around and see something suspicious and you're like, oh, why did I come into this corner? There's just, there's just stuff everywhere, and it's all useful. I don't think we're talking about all about it in this segment, but we'll probably go into um, some of the, the details of how you use ingredients and stuff later on. It's funny. Honestly, sometimes in the middle of a hard battle, an apple is the most valuable treasure you've got. You're I like, one second, I have to eat this. Apple. Give me a second. More fire arrows. That's the last yep. thing we need to give Chico. <laughs> oh, God, you're right. You may be so geared up to... Speaking of, yeah, fire arrow, maybe hmm. I can go back to the treehouse and burn it. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know. What do you think? Wait, are you talking about the real treehouse? Yeah, not no, our no, actual no, treehouse. Not tree okay. <laughs> we got I time. Think I think there's might be in for a bad day. I'm wasting it. Oh, yeah, don't, those are the, I'm not wasting those are, it those anymore. Guys. That didn't look really cool, though. <laughs> That's probably the right weapon to use if you really want to damage an enemy that's made out of ice. I would imagine fire arrows oh, yeah. are probably the thing to do. But if you use them all here, we can't go burn stuff later. That's so right. This is, that's how Chico has to manage her resources. <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to burn this thing? Jeez. Yeah, that's... Uh, I got that move. Hey, wait, double oh. check your map. I actually... Oh, what, oh yeah, what, yeah, what? yeah, no. no I, was just, I was trying to remember where you stuck that skull. Oh, yeah, it's, yeah, on, it's so on that yeah, side. I'm bank. going for it. So yeah, we did. You were, I think you were starting to say this earlier, Sam. But you can. Um, oh, we saw a link jumping in the water earlier. Oh, that was much more uh, temperate water. Yeah. Um, this is a frozen ah. mountain lake. You're gonna die. No! Oh, no! 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 no. <laughs> I am not dying. Get that I am apple. For the steak. You took the chance. Oh, oh God. That was. I oh. <laughs> it's oh, only man. death and destruction when it you? comes to Chico. Oh wow, you got. I got a Korok leaf out of it. That's good. Ah, uh, that shows. <laughs> okay, I love playing with Chico. I actually watched her shoot a butterfly with an arrow once. Yeah. Really? That's, yeah. That really I didn't know be. you could do that, but me neither. Chico can pull that off. Yeah, there, I shouldn't be allowed so to do I that. So I had to try it. <laughs> That's impressive. He told me he can do it, so I had to try and make sure I can do it too. Your little um, explosive demonstration back there, though, I, I, we should call out that, uh, you know, obviously that tree fell down because it was in a destruction zone. Oh. You see trees, I mean, you can you can damage them. I think when people saw the trailer and there was that sort of sequence of ah. Link knocking a tree to cross a chasm, it's not like that's the only tree that you can chop down. It's like you basically can chop down anything you see. <laughs> see, oh, that's what I'm go. talking about. Yeah, he's back, he's got head. Get his arm. I will. Actually, let's see look if we, that, if we can that. take a closer look at one of the arms once they're... Oh. Yeah, it's there's one in front of me there. Creeping. Oh, he's putting... <laughs> Chico, what I want you to do is take his arm and then beat him with it. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, there, grab that one. Oh, wait. Uh, he oh, took no. it. Oh, grab it. Okay. Yes. <laughs> nice. Oh, this is so oh, gross. No, I so I have to, I already things. have enough 
Maybe ditch a weapons, club. Yeah. The arm is way more. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh no, he's got it back. I think he's uh, putting it back on. Sorry. You are getting outwitted by things that they have no brains. Fine. Are you saying I'm? There it is. Well, I have a rudimentary intelligence. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Wait, nice. There you, you go. got it. Did I take it? Yeah, yeah, you, yeah did. you got it. So we gotta equip that for a second, I think, just to show it off because it's so creepy. It's really creepy. Yeah, get, Look him, at get that. him with it. It's Teach him a lesson. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh God. You can see his own arm. That guy too. <laughs> right. Uh, it really is fun experimenting with things. Look at that. Maybe don't still think of as weapons, the but too. they yep. do the job. Yeah, I mean, I we already showed it obviously in Mr. Random is segment, but. Going out of that cave and, and instead of being handed a sword by an old man, getting a <laughs> crappy tree branch that's <laughs> right there on the ground. Oh, it's neat. Oh. <laughs> Look, that yeah. arm is pretty creepy when it's sheathed too, because yeah. it's yeah. still like clawing in the back of Link and it's like grabbing that at him. That was good. It's intimidating. <laughs> if I was, if I saw that dude, I wouldn't fight him. He's got like a moving severed arm on his back. So we've got a little bit of time left. We'll see if we can uh, check out that uh, tree fort before we wrap up. Yeah, yeah. 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 She goes, awesome. Chico's going to mount an assault. I'm, I'm psyched to see this. And then she's going to ride the waterfall. No. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she and tried that once. It's, it's yeah. dramatic. <laughs> There's no way they have the range over here. You can just bomb them. I, think so. I like the word epic. <laughs> I thought it was an epic ending. <laughs> okay, wait. I have to go. Oh, it's almost breaking, is it? That's right, you got a spare bow. That bow is better anyways. They got better tech than you. Okay. Oh, they have no idea. Nice shot. Oh. Whoa. Good aim. Oh, no. A little low. Compensate for the wind shear. Ha. Oh. Oh, oh he, sh he shot back. Huh? He's mad at me. <laughs> I bet. Yes. All right, well, that's, uh, I think, about all the time that we've got here yeah. today. But um, uh, we'll, we'll leave the fate of those bokoblins up to folks' imagination. <laughs> we'll let them be for now. Uh, but thanks, guys, for swinging by and doing some exploring with us. Uh, folks who are watching, please stay tuned. We're going to be right back with uh, some more Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm not trying to make I can even say what we're going to do next, but please stay tuned. We'll be right back. Thanks. Thank you. Bye. Bye.